Oh, hi. Welcome to Carolina Cooking. I'm your host, Tom Zalinka. I'm a novice in the kitchen myself and uh, clearly enjoying some watermelon, which we're going to be using today to make a piece of flounder. Uh-huh. What are we doing exactly? Well, you'll see. Keep watching. If I can do it, you can too. The worst cook on TV. And the best chefs in the Carolinas. Not to worry. We're trained professionals. If you can learn a lot from your mistakes, you'll learn the most from Carolina Cooking. And a shrimp. If Tom can do it, looks delicious. so can you. Mm, now that's Carolina Cooking. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, this is incredible. Oh. <laughs> Joining us today in the kitchen in our Hadco showroom is chef who actually brought us the watermelon, Chef Wilson Hawes from Cafe on the Square How you doing, Asheville, Tom? North Carolina. Hey, oh, this is great watermelon. Have you tried it already? It's very good. Mmm. It's going to work out perfect for us. Absolutely, and we're done. We need to move on. So, what we're, oh, you can just toss it over your shoulder. There you go. Good oh, job. Okay. All right, so. What we're actually doing is we're making flounder today, and we're going to be using this giant watermelon she here beside us to make the sauce. It's a vinaigrette. A vinaigrette. A vinaigrette. Wow. Okay. To go All with right. the cucumber and kale salad that goes under the fish. So. Oh, and that's uh, that's stuck here under the fish, right, right there. Right under the fish. I got gotcha. you. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. And so, um, well, I guess we're ready to begin here. What's the first thing we need to do? Work on the fish or work on the watermelon? Well, let's work on the watermelon first, Tom. Okay. What I want you to do is cut that in half. Oh, I can do this. Cut it in there half. There you go. All right. <laughs> oh! Where's a samurai sword when you need one? You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the times that we really wanted to chop into yep. something on yep. this show yep. and have a big time and have a samurai sword, and we never. And this is the first time we could actually have it. Hello? Guys, could you help me out? <laughs> oh, well. All right, here we here go we again. Go. <clears throat> And uh, kids, you know, of course, don't try this at home. It's not as fun as it looks. So, I mean, it's not something you want to do at the house there. You... It's a little tougher than I thought. Hang on, everybody, back up. Oh! Little Gallagher moment presented to you by Carolina Cooking. Okay, good so good moving job. on. Right. What do we need to do next? What we're going to do now is I want to take this. Mm hmm. I'm going to take the rind off there. Oh, okay. So we just went, we're not going to grind up the rind? Nope. That's what this puree machine is going to do here. Be a little bitter? And so what are we getting out of this, by the way? We're going to take the juice out of this watermelon and make a vinaigrette out of it. Is this something normally that's uh, done? Is this something that uh, uh, is part of a, a select, you know, like a cuisine, like a Caribbean? Or is this just something you came up with on your own? This is something I made up on the top of my head is now. This something, you, you know, he's a jazz musician, by the way. I found that out a little earlier on the, in, uh, before the show. And uh, is this something you improvised? Exactly. Oh, nice. You can say that. So you just had like a watermelon laying around and you thought, man, this would be great to uh, chop up and take the juice from and make it. Exactly. I thought that the, the salt, saltwater fish and the watermelon would go well together. Oh, okay. All righty. And the flounder right. over there is from the Carolinas. Yes, it is. Now, this is uh, something that you don't currently have down at uh, the restaurant? Nope. This is not on the menu. Uh, something that we did specially for the show here, Tom. Oh, well, great. Fantastic. We like those as right. well. And that's a, that was... it's, it's all stuff you could get here in the Carolinas, exactly. right? Exactly. You can Everything. get watermelon, you can get uh, all the other, the flounder you can get here in the Carolinas. Uh -huh. You go out to the pier and throw a line exactly. in it, correct? Exactly. All right. So what do we so need to do now? Let's take this part, let's all put right. it in the food processor Just here. like that? Don't need to chop it up anymore? Don't need to chop it up unless it won't fit. Oh, okay. We can make it fit. Yeah, exactly. Worry. All right. Those are the famous last words, and then maybe the thing won't turn on and spin around. But we'll see. Pulse are on. On. All right. Now, Wilson, how, how long have you been at the Cafe on the Square? I've been there six and a half to seven years. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And always so, been the chef there? Nope. Not always the chef. Dishwasher, oh. grill, saute, then chef. Really? So oh, there's yeah. hope for me. I could start out dishwashing, too, and, uh, and, and, and then I could move up, too, right? Exactly. Okay, great, great. <laughs> so... Um, this pulses up, or this uh, actually blends until we just are basically down to the juice. Exactly. And then and we're going to strain it. Is that what this is for? Yes, it here? is. Okay. Cheesecloth. Yep. And you can get cheesecloth, I guess, at the store? Uh-huh. All right. And do they actually wrap cheese in cheesecloth? Or is that kind of a misnomer? 
<laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, well, I'm not, they probably do somewhere. Yeah, I, I would. I, I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. Or else they would call it uh, tomato exactly. cloth if they wrap tomatoes in it. So all that's right. all done. It's done for okay. what we need. It you got to take the thing out of the center here. Oh, okay. A little lesson I've learned there. Okay. There we go. Oh, little. Well, that was me. <laughs> There's a mess made on the show. And I had nothing to do with it, yeah, except for putting the watermelon in. But but other than that, I, I, <laughs> the chef did it. Is it are we marking the it. day down? Ah, well, good. We'll get some straws later on and clean this whole thing up. Don't worry. All right, what do we do with this now? Just squeeze it till it comes out. There you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. We got a hole over here. Is that OK? That'll do be I fine. not want That's any fine. pulp in there? No, a little mm -hmm. bit of pulp's not going to hurt anybody. Mm -hmm. And the watermelon cow goes. Mm. Mm. All righty. There we go. How much of this do we need? That's exactly what we need right there. Oh, you there. know, I'm itching to just turn this into a water gun and aim at the crew, you know? <laughs> That'd uh, be fun. It would be fun, but uh, I think I'd get in trouble. I think they'd revolt, and I don't know what they have in their back pockets to throw back at me. So I I'll, I'll choose not to do that right now. All right, how much of this do we need? That's, that's what you need right there. Okay. And is this done? That's done. Okay. Toss it. So we're not reusing now, our cheese. The reason pot. I wanted to do a vinaigrette was because if you if you cook with the watermelon, all the flavor will just cook out of it. It'll just be water and it'll, okay. it'll just evaporate. Okay. So I changed it. So we have our juice. We still have our fish over here. What do yes. we need to do with the fish? You want to lightly pepper it. Okay. Pepper? Yes, sir. Is that light enough? Go all a little right. bit heavier than that. Go right, a little a bit little. heavier. All right. All righty. Now you take some of that onion powder. Okay. And I'm being light on this, or? Yes. Okay. Is that good? Do a little bit more. A little bit Just more? A little bit more. And what are we there doing with the fish? Are we going to be uh, sautéing it, yep. grilling it? We're going to pan sear it. All righty. Well, it Try looks good. Try to get it golden brown on the outside of there, so All righty. see what happens. When we come back, we're going to be pan searing our fish when Carolina Cooking continues. Ah, oh, that's good. You could mix a little vodka in there. Oh, yeah. You know, maybe have a little oh, umbrella. Yeah. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas, all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. Well, 13 towels later and five crew members later, we finally cleaned up the flood that our chef here, Chef Wilson Hawes, made for us. And uh, thanks. That was that was a heck of a mess. I think that'll be legendary. We got to keep people on their tiptoes. <laughs> exactly. In the kitchen, you, know? you know, stuff like that happens in the kitchen all the time. At least for me, I know. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it happens. So you just deal with it and you move on. Yep. You know, yep. And, yep. and and still we're able to make a great meal out of this. So we are making our flounder. We got the juice. We we're got making the a juice. vinaigrette. We, we've saved the juice. At least we saved enough juice to use, so that's, it. that's a good thing. And so now we've got to make our vinaigrette, right? There we go. All right, so what goes in a vinaigrette? So what, we're I'm, gonna take I'm this, guessing this melon vinegar. juice. Yeah, vinegar's gonna yeah, go in so. there, definitely. So we've got a little red wine mm -hmm. vinegar. So you just go ahead and pour that all that in there. And this is about three fourths three quarters of a cup. Three quarters of a cup. All right. There we there go. There you go. Now okay. Keep, now keep in mind, we're gonna make enough vinaigrette to store in the refrigerator at the house for a salad or. Okay. Something else good, too. Good. Good. Okay. That's olive oil, palmas olive oil, and not again, extra virgin. And again, about equal parts, right? Yes, sir. All right. And what, uh, what's the Alrighty. difference between this and regular olive oil? It's not as pungent. Okay. It's cut. Okay. And now, I'm gonna add some fresh cilantro. Cilantro, really? Uh -huh. Wow, I wouldn't have guessed that. All righty, fresh cilantro. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Try to get it all in there. All right. Then what we want to do is this is sugar, just just normal granulated sugar. Three quarters of a cup, equal parts still of granulated sugar. There, there we, we are. Go. And we have some. Is that champagne? That is champagne. Okay, is that our last thing? That's going to be the last thing. Right. We're going to taste that okay. as we go in. Okay, sure. So I want to put a little bit of red onion puree in there, just to give it just a little bit of a, a zest. Could you do uh, minced if you could, didn't have a? Food processor? You could definitely do minced. Okay. Good to know. And so that's uh, our minced. onion, red onion puree. And now, do I need to whip it up or are we whip ready to up. pop the cork on the champagne? And Let's taste what we have going on okay. here real quick. All right. 
Get a little, get a little finger in there. Fruity, tasty, yeah. I got a little bit of the but onion too, you, but that may have been on my finger. Mm -hmm. But you see where you see where we're needing this now. Yeah, it does need a little something. It needs extra. a little, little, yeah, bubbly, a little bubbly, a little That's something. What it needs. Okay, <laughs> uh, so we already got the top off this. Uh, this would be the time for the crew to run and hide. Okay, and. <laughs> <laughs> put, put, uh, nothing quite as anticlimactic as removing the black thing it's, off the top to find a screw cap on your champagne. Exactly. Uh, wow. That was cool. quite the buildup, huh? Watch out now, crew. I'm unscrewing it. Oh! Oh! Watch your eyes. Oh, gosh. I put about a quarter of a cup of that in there. Okay. Just quarter of a cup. Yeah, just eyeball it. Right there. Hmm. I think, I think you need to whisk it a little more to tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah, dump a little oh. bit more in there. Try oh, a little sorry, bit well, it's got my lips all <laughs> over it now. Alrighty, there you go. Okay, stirring it up. I'll give the taste, taste here. Wow, well, that it does, does to that it. does add a little extra to it. Okay, so that's our vinaigrette. That's right? our vinaigrette. All as right. simple as that. And so moving on down here to our kale. Uh huh. And that we'll is kale, kale, right? Yes, it is. And how's this different from uh, uh, what spinach or what what family is this in? Do you know? Yeah, it looks a little so bit like, like, like mustard green and br between broccoli, mustard green. Okay. I don't know. See, I want to take it off of these uh, well, stems okay. right there. Oh, okay. see what I'm saying? Yeah, you have the you have the leaf part here, and you have the stem running down there the side, you and you don't want the stem part. No. All right. Okay. And how much of this are we gonna need? We're going to need about one bushel, of, one uh, head of it. Not a peck? Yep. One peck? There you go. Yeah, I don't know the I don't know the sizes when it comes to vegetables. That uh, completely confuses me. Or wood. When they tell me that they're going to give me, uh, uh, you know, wood, I, I have no idea what they're talking about. I'm just like, yeah, that looks like enough. All righty. And these we can keep for later? Of course. All right. And... Uh, see how long you see that? That's probably from mine. There There's another go. one right there. That's probably again from mine. Sorry. Oh, okay. okay. Alrighty. And so what are we doing with this? Well, we're gonna saute it just for just about a minute or so. Oh, in the skillet? In there, with a little bit of butter. So put about two tablespoons worth of butter in there. You can use your fingers if two you like. Two well, that's about all I got right there now. There you go. So uh, one tablespoon. That's good right there. Two tablespoons. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. Let that sizzle up. Anything else? Oh, well, I, I guess a whole mess of kale, a whole yep, bushel. Yep, we're gonna put the kale okay. in there. All right, let that spin. Ooh. You know, I mm. love to sit around and listen to the kale crackle, mm -hmm. you know, and just drink my champagne at night. It's just so romantic, listening to the crackling of the kale. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Let me get you a pair of tongs. Oh, tongs would be helpful for my giant, uh, giant bolt of tongs. All right, and now just let this wither down. Uh huh. All right. Do we have to add any of this other stuff? You want to turn or? it over a little bit, to kind of keep it mixed. Okay. Now, how long have uh, now this recipe right here? It was uh, not something that you can physically get from the menu, but it is something that you created yourself. Yes, it is. And is that kind of what you enjoy most about cooking? Is kind of getting that creative. It really spirit is. Up? We come up with daily specials for a day mm -hmm. off the top of our heads, pretty much every day. So, yeah, we we're. Mighty creative. And what got you into cooking? What was the just? Uh, is it something you just kind of found yourself I would have wound to say, up in? Or? Well, I would have to say my father got me into cooking. Oh, really? When I was a little kid, I'd just watch, hang out in the grill with him. So uh -huh. grilling is actually my most favorite thing to do as far yeah. as cooking does. Yeah. Is he a charcoal man or is he gas He's a man? charcoal man. Oh, well, you have well, to Back be, in I mean, the day, we were, he was a definitely a charcoal yeah, man. Yeah, I understand. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this white wine in there. Okay. And that's about, uh, that was about half a cup or Yeah, so. about a half a cup. Okay. And do we need any? Keep mixing, we're gonna put a little. Salt and pepper mixed. Yep. You know, and if you miss a step on any of this recipe with the vinaigrette or the kale here, you can visit our website, uh -huh. it'll be there at the recipe of the day, and uh, it'll have all the details there, and you can print it out and play along at home, basically. There you go. So, all right, and it, then we just let this sit, right? Yep. Okay. And we're so we're gonna start sear this flounder now. What uh, What are we gonna sear the flounder in? 
We, little need, bit a little, of, uh, we need a little bit of oil, but we can use this oil. butter right here. All right. Just, just fine. Ordinarily, you'd use oil, but you can also That's use plenty. butter. Ooh, smoke in. Slide that, it, slide that fish in there. Do I want to put it to the season side down? Yes, sir. All right. There we go. Oops. Hang on. Let me grab the end of it here. All right. We're going to sear up our fish. We're going to be withering down our kale. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to be talking with Eris Ragazace and find out which wine he's paired with our flounder when Carolina cooking continues. Right. I'm hoping it's a champagne or maybe a straw. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm uh, here with our wine expert, Eris Ragazayas. And Eris, I had to get the kale out of the kitchen to, to <laughs> come and drink uh, a little wine with you and thoughts. sample a little of this. Uh, you've picked a white wine to go with our flounder, is that right? Yeah, I like white wine with flatfish. Okay. Yeah. Is that uh, a rule of thumb I could use? White wine, flatfish? It's my rule of thumb. Okay, all right. Everybody should have their own rules of thumb. Yeah. This is from the Holly's Garden uh, Winery. Mm -hmm. This is Australian Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris. You don't find Pinot Gris that much in Australia. Most people know Pinot Gris from the Italian version Pinot Grigio. Okay. But this is quite different from uh, Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. uh, Pinot Grigio generally comes from the cool climates, gives a light, uh, fruity, uh, crisp wine. Uh, Australia, where it's a little bit warmer, mm -hmm. you're going to get uh, wines with fruit that is a little mm. riper, goes, wow, goes, this goes more with the tropical right fruit. Yeah. Yes, okay. you know, melons, mangoes, you know, things like that. Very, very ripe. Mmm. Yeah, you dip, you get a lot of different uh, fruity fruity flavors in there. And on the palate, it's 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 softer and it's fleshier. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna go well with the with the dish, but it doesn't have the acidity of uh, that people tend to expect with the, with the Pinot Grigio. This is definitely going to complement it. It's not going to fight oh, with it. Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So I think, yeah. it, I think Eris, I think you've made an excellent choice here. And uh, no, the ripe fruit, fruit flavor is going to blend in so well with the fish. Well, fantastic. Well, now I've got to get the kale out of here and get myself <laughs> back to the kitchen and check on my kale and, uh, you know, finish cooking with Wilson's. Heck of a nice guy. Okay. So, uh, good choice. Thank you very much. And again, Holly's Garden, right? Holly's Garden. All right. Pinot Gris. I'm getting back when Carolina Cooking continues. You can find the secret recipes of the best chefs in the Carolinas all in one book, the Carolina Cooking Cookbook. Find the Carolina Cooking Cookbook in Amazon.com and our website, carolinacooking.tv. Welcome back to Carolina Cooking. I'm here with Chef Wilson Hawes of the uh, Cafe on the Square from Asheville, North Carolina. And we are working on our uh, our squash here, getting them all, well, I'm slitting them down here so that we can make them look pretty, so we can make them look like that, little little fingers. Got to dump Chicken them in. Chicken feet. Chicken feet. There oh, you go. good, good. And we're dumping them into some boiling water, correct? There you go, dump them on in. All righty. Now, our uh, kale yep. has uh, wilted down, and what do we have to add to this? You want to just throw a cold cucumber into that kale. All righty, because we don't want to cook the cucumber? We do not want to cook the cucumber. All right. Just mix that up real quick. Okay. And then what? Let's we make can a pile. Let's, it on the yep, plate. let's make okay. a pile of that kale and cucumber right. salad right here in the middle of this plate. Now, did you need any other garnish for this? A tomato, oh, fresh tomato wedges. All righty. Well, I'll go ahead and let you slice up the tomato there as I'm piling kale on top. Is that enough, or do we want more? That looks like it's enough to me. All righty. So there's that. And we have a piece of fish over here that's sizzling away. And I can turn that off. I can turn that off. There we are. And piece of fish. You ready to have that put on top? Yep, goes okay. right on top. All right. I'll try not to break it. This is That would be bad, man. right? Perfect. There we go. All righty. Perfect. And uh, so we have our we have our uh, Now you want your vinaigrette. Here. Our watermelon vinaigrette. This looks really good right here. And just fill the bottom of the plate up with that. Bottom of the plate, don't run it over the top. It doesn't even matter. Either way, it's all going to come together. Ooh, there we go. 
Would you like me just uh, yeah, yeah. for uh, memory's sake to spill some all over the counter? Please. Or? Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I just can't let for that go. For memory's sake. I? Exactly. Okay. That so there's some more. Perfect. And then we finally have these things ready over here, right? Our squashes. We got these tomatoes we could put down first. Okay. However you feel. However I feel, I could just yeah, let me improvise take this it. this right here. Yeah, I'll put that on the let me get bottom. You a different one. Oh, okay. I could just improvise it. I'm gonna put them like that. There you go. I'm gonna one put more. that. Oop. I was, I'm going to put that one there, and then I'm going to grab my squashies out of the uh, water yes, here. Yes, sir. And uh, that's one, and two, and three. And you want to just rooster, make these See like See how little, they go like that? Yeah. All right. Oh, it's a little hot. Should you actually wait for a second? You know, to find... We ah, can wait. It's a little warm there. All righty. And so I have it like that. You know, if you want to find out more about a recipe or our, our uh, wine, our chef here or the restaurant, visit our website at carolinacooking.tv. I'm Tom Salinka here with our chef, and that's Carolina Cooking. This looks incredible right here. I'm gonna get, feel free to grab a fork. Yeah. Go to carolinacooking.tv for the recipes featured on this show. Plus, on carolinacooking.tv, you'll find more information on the wine, chefs, and foods of Carolina Cooking. That's carolinacooking.tv. Wow.